Hello friends, I'm Sahaj and I'm a visual artist at the Chicago Children's Theater. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint the roots of a plant on a flower pot. Alright, to start off we're going to be taking a look at the materials that we need for this project. This is a flower pot that I went and got from Lowe's with my mom. Here is a cup of water that I'll be using to clean out my brushes. I have white paint, brown, yellow, and green acrylic paint. And I also have Mod Podge, which I got from Michaels, which is basically watered down glue if you have that. And I also have a can of corn or any can just to hold up your pot while you paint and a few different paint brushes. So we're going to start off with the base layer, which is the first coat of paint that we put on this pot. I'm using the can of corn as a stand for my pot so that my hands won't get too dirty when I paint. Now just for this base layer, all we're going to do is paint white paint all over the pot. You want to be able to do just like a couple thick coats so that you can't see the brown underneath. You want to make sure that you also paint the bottom plate that holds your pot and the inside of the pot, the rim right here I'm showing you. Next, we're going to be painting the soil. So here what I'm showing is me mixing brown and white paint to get sort of a light brown color, kind of the color of dirt or soil that you would put in the, pl um, the planter itself. I'm just going to paint one layer of this over the white. And I'm also going to be painting it on the little plate and the inside rim of the pot. The next thing I'm going to be doing is taking just a dark brown color or the brown before you mix it and putting little stripes, little spots of it all over because if you look at soil closely you'll find that it's not just one color of brown. There's a lot of things in soil. It's dark brown, light brown, green, yellow. So make sure you put just little bits of that all over your pot. The next thing we're going to be doing, just so you can see a little bit more of the texture of the soil, is taking a paper towel and folding it up a few times. And if you have a sponge, this works too. We're going to take that brown paint again. And we're just going to stamp this paint all over the pot. Again, you want to make sure you cover all of it. So the next step is to paint the roots over the brown soil layer that we've created. So I'm just taking a new paintbrush, preferably something a little bit thinner so you can control your line, and I am painting just random strokes of green starting at the top of the flower pot all the way to the bottom. Make sure that you put enough paint on your flower pot so that it covers the brown and you can really see the green roots. All right, and here I'm painting the same green roots or something similar. Again, this is just random on the other side of the pot. So whichever way it's facing, you'll still be able to see the roots. Next, we're going to be painting with the brown paint again, just a thin stripe throughout the green roots that you've painted. Again, this is to resemble the roots of a plant that you may not be able to see in the soil. Make sure that if you are painting indoors like I am now, that you're putting something on the ground, like these old jeans that I have, just so you don't get paint on your carpet or on the floor. And now we're on the final layer. For this last coat, we're gonna be putting Mod Podge all over your pot. This is so that if your pot is outside in the sun, exposed to the rain, the paint doesn't wash off. This is basically just a layer that protects the paint on the pot. As you can see, as I'm painting it on, it looks white, but it will be drying clear. 
make sure you get all the nooks and crannies of this flower pot. And now you're done. This is the finished flower pot next to another flower pot that I painted. And this is how it would look with some flowers in it when you're done. Once you've finished painting your flower pot, show your family and friends, and you can also take a photo or send a video to this email here on your screen. We would love to see your work. To explore more virtual activities in theater, check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel, CCTV. Um, to find out more about our summer camps, head to the website on your screen right here. And I hope you had a really fun time with this activity, and I'll see you soon. Bye, friends!